Wow, I just, I have so many questions and so little understanding of what I'm even asking. I'm being disintegrated by what looks like, I, I guess, a dinosaur and a squirrel? Meanwhile, there's this warlock running all over the place and things are flashing. I hear robotic voices with subliminal messages. I don't know what the hell's going on. This is Wizard of War, and I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. Wizard of War debuted in arcades in 1980. It was then ported to the Commodore 64 and various Atari platforms, although I, I hesitate to say that was a decision for Midway. You kind of get the feeling this this crazy voice might have just demanded living room infiltration. It, it might be alive, is what I'm telling you. But looking at this thing from an academic approach, Wizard of War is a strange mixture of action and maze-based arcade gameplay. It's kind of like Pac-Man, only you're shooting things with a... I guess it's a laser or something? And those things are actually, like, genuinely frightening. I had never played this game before today, and I gotta tell you, there was something really unsettling about it. I don't know if it was my bewildered and petrified facial expression, the non-stop droning of a robotic voice, or the, the flashing colors that illuminated the entire room, but while I was playing Wizard of War, everyone here at Undertow just kind of froze. In fear. Jen told me this game was disturbing her on a profound level, and I was about to agree with her, but then I thought I heard Wizard of War make a retort of its own. I couldn't, like, I couldn't make out what it said, but I did distinctly hear the number six repeated three times. Backwards. The game does work a lot like Pac-Man in that you progress when you clear a level of its enemy presence. You do that by running around and shooting monsters, but it's never quite that easy in Wizard of War. The beasts get faster and faster as you kill them off until a warlock appears. And if you kill a warlock, the screen starts bleeding. Well, actually, the, the wizard appears, but I, I can neither confirm nor deny the bleeding because we never killed the warlock out of both inability and fear of the consequences. You can play this crazy f***ing game with up to two players, which is really the way to go. You should never enter the realm of war without a companion. This game is just brutal in every conceivable way, and since it's so genuinely strange, it's also a really hard game to forget. And that, of course, is because this wizard haunts your dreams. It's Midway's Wizard of War, an obscure arcade game with a strange name and an even stranger everything else.